Hey everybody, I'm back and today some voxel fun. I will show you how to make this kind of voxelization of any object. I was intrigued and inspired by this video of HC White Dog. So let me show you how to make this kind of effect. First of all, the setup that you need is basically the object passing through the clipping object, in this case a box, and moving, right? So next, object properties, renderable, display as box to make life easier to see what's happening. For the type flow, you're going to need birth voxels. Choose your sphere. Now F3, you can see all the voxels there inside. If you play animation, the voxels stay there. That's why you need press tab, object bind, and pick the sphere. Oops, remove. Pick the sphere. So now the box will follow the object. And what we want is to test when those voxels get inside here. So for that, press tab, surface test. We pick the box and not distance but volume inside. Cool. Next, you can press shift and drag it out to make a copy because we're gonna need this. Now we're gonna give a shape to the voxels. For now, you can hide the ball. Left click, hide selection. So let's give a shape. Uh, shift and drag to copy this so we can see. Not small dots, but geometry. And on the shape, you're gonna choose cubes. And now you can see because it's inside, outside nothing happening. And for the size, it's good if you rescale it a little bit. The face is not connecting exactly. Remove the variation. Of course, all of these go to your taste. But I like more when you see the cubes. So for the beginning, it's working. But the outside is not. So we can make another surface test. Shift, drag. But this time we're going to say outside. And for outside, we're going to just delete. And for the rendering, it's important that you put a mesh. Otherwise, not going to see during the render time. So it's basically working already, this part. But the sphere is appearing, not yet. And that's very simple. You select the sphere itself. Uh, and then you put a tie boolean, press X, and then tie boolean, and you pick the box. Not union, but subtraction. So, and that's your basically setup. In my scene, as you can see here, they start shaking, making those, all those wavy things. For that, you can start playing now with other settings. For example, you can put force. For the force work, I need to put physics shape. And now here in force, we just crank this up. And there you go, that's my setup. So have fun, 
please subscribe my channel. 80% of you are not subscribed. Also, if you can follow me in my Instagram account, it will be very nice. That's how I can keep in, uh, all those tutorials for free. So, thank you.